What's going on y'all? This is J. Maria, J. Marie Booklets, and today I'm coming to talk to you about transferring calls. So there are two types of transfers. You have a cold transfer, which is where, you know, um, let's say someone calls and they want to speak to the nurse for such and such patient. You'll put that personal hold, hit the transfer button, hit the extension, punch in the extension, and then once when the nurse answers, you send the call through. Or sometimes before the nurse even answers, you just send it through. And a warm transfer is when um, you do the same steps. You put the call on hold, transfer, punch in the extension. And then um, when the nurse answers, you say, hi, this is so-and-so at the desk. I have so-and-so on the phone, wants to talk to you about whoever. So those are the two types of transfers. Now, nine times out of 10, the nurse is gonna take the, she's gonna take the call. Now there are times where the nurse is busy and they can't take the call and let's say it's just family, you know, want to know an update on the patient. You can go back to the line and you can say, hey, you know, well, you don't say hey, but you know, say, I'm sorry, nurse is in the room with another patient. Can I take a message or would you like to call back? And if the nurse is, if she, if she says I'm busy, but you know, I'll be out in a few minutes or like, let me finish this. Then you can ask them if they want to hold because you know the nurse will be coming out in like two minutes, you know, if they want to hold. So the people, you know, you give them three options. They can hold, they can call back in like five to 10 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes, or they can, you can take a message. So those are the things, you know, when it comes to transferring a call. Now, sometimes you will have nurses. I, I remember we had a nurse um, she was she was a weird nurse. Um, she used to come to the desk, ask you to put a call out. So she would say, hey, can you call Dr. So-and-so for patient in room or whatever. So she wanted me to call the doctor so she, they can, the doctor can call her back because something was going on with the patient. So, you know, I would do it. And then when the doctor would call back, it would be this big old whoop de doo you can't get her because she's on the phone doing another call so like if she, let's say she needed a call back on two patients with two different doctors she would have me do one and then she would do the other instead of just having me do both she would do one and then she would do the other but when the doctor called back for the one I called she's on the line <laughs> okay she's on the line talking to them that was so annoying she was one of those so you know with her you had to you had to anybody else you want me to call like you had to get it out of her because she she doesn't want to be to be a burden she's one of those nurses don't want to be a burden but you are you're making everything you're making your day longer you're not making my day longer you're gonna make your your day longer and stressful because i can do both these calls because when when someone comes in and asks you to put a call out that means they want and they they want that call back so they want you to do it now and then have that doctor call back right away so they can talk to him about this patient. We can't do that when the nurse is on another line. She was notorious. She, I mean, she did that just every day, all day. She was always on the phone. I don't even know how she took care of the patients because she was always on the phone talking to the doctors about whatever. Always with a call out. So, you know, that was, we always had an issue with that. And then the doctor called back yelling and screaming, you know, why? Because, you know, if, if depending on what kind of transfer, um, depending on how busy it was, I would do a cold transfer, just send the call through when the doctor called back. And, you know, now, you know, that line is busy, he can't get through, he has to hang up and things like that. So, I'm just telling you, you got to know your nurses and know how they are. If, if they're like that, you need to do a warm transfer and so you don't have all this conflict going on. But um, that's all I have for you today. You can visit me on my blog. It's J. Marie Booklets. This is where I talk about being a health unit coordinator, the good, the bad, the ugly. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.